Most project packs need a timeline, and it's good to use one that will show that there are twists and turns on the way to your destination. So in this Bite Size Learning, I'm going to show you how to create a cool roadmap in PowerPoint. From the Insert menu, you're going to choose the Block Arc tool. It's important that you hold the Shift key down to constrain the proportions when you draw this. If you don't do that, you get this. So hold the Shift key down as you click and draw, and draw yourself an arc. Now see this little circle? Look what you can do with this. If you've never noticed it before, it's in many shapes. Unfortunately, there's no controls for you to set the size and angle of this arc. So I'm going to duplicate it. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the shape. And then use the Shape Format menu to flip it. Now I'm going to move it roughly into the right place and use the arrows on my keyboard to perfectly line it up. Now I'm going to select the two arcs and press Ctrl G to group together. Then Ctrl D again to duplicate and repeat the lining up until I've got the right number of steps in my road. Don't worry if it goes off the edge of the page, we'll resize it in a minute. Now that I've got it roughly how I want it, I want to be able to draw a thicker line around the outside and not have these little lines in the middle. So I'm going to first need to ungroup it, which is Control, Shift and G. And then I'm going to use this cool merge tool so that my road becomes one shape rather than lots of little shapes joined together. And that means I can draw this thick line around the outside. To deal with the edges, I'll draw a rectangle here and here and then use the Fragment tool. The Fragment tool breaks your shape apart wherever lines cross, so you can delete the bits that you don't want. Now I can go back in with the Arc tool, not the Block Arc, just the Arc tool, to do more or less the same thing and draw my dotted lines for the middle and also arrows for the edge. Once you've mastered the basics, you can play around and add in roads of different lengths and different curves, but this should get you started. I'm Sharon Connolly from Change Superhero and I help you sprinkle unicorn dust over tired, boring project artifacts. Follow me for more bite-sized learning like this and visit my website and subscribe for tech tips and get a cool tip every four days, as well as some really cool free templates. Thanks for watching.